。十月八号，诺贝尔医学奖出炉，英国生物学家约翰·古尔登与日本医学家山中伸弥，因为在细胞重新编程领域做出贡献，获得二零一二年诺贝尔奖。他们将分享八百万瑞典克朗和约九十万欧元的奖金。我们来自瑞典的报道。二零一二年诺贝尔奖周在瑞典卡尔林斯卡医学院拉开序幕。现在我们是在生理和医学奖揭晓的现场，评委们已经评选完毕，让我们一起听一听他们评选的结果。Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institute has today decided to award the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2012 jointly to John B. Gurdon and Shinya Yamanaka. For the discovery that mature cells can be reprogrammed to become pluripotent. English biologist Johann Gerdon and Japanese scientist Shan Zhongshenmi, because of their contributions in the field of cell reprogramming, won the Nobel Prize. Seventy-nine years old, Gerdon discovered the cell reprogramming technique that is the basis for the study of cell 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 Its importance for the basic understanding of how cells become specialized. So it refers also to、uh, and helps us to understand、uh, really important basic biology and medicine.、Uh, the second part of this is that it, it also has promise in medicine and can lead to much better tools. That can be used to study diseases that are very difficult to study. These discoveries. Uh, open up many possibilities, and there is a lot of excitement that when we can bag cells to become stem cells and mature them out to become, say, heart cells or brain cells, we should be able to repair a damaged heart or a damaged brain. And that's fantastic possibilities. 被誉为无性繁殖先驱的戈登，早在五十年代克隆青蛙。克隆技术作为这项发现的结果之一，引发一些争论。I think there is general consensus in the scientific community that、oh, we should not clone humans, and I think that's also the opinion in、uh, the public at large in all over the world. 新唐人记者张华、周宇，瑞典斯德哥尔摩报道。